the Blue Coconut Family on YouTube. Proudly sponsored by Sparkgate. Hello everybody, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family. I am back in vaults for another time for a tutorial. I haven't done one of these for quite a while and I know you guys love them. So, I'm going to be doing the second part of a defense. But I'm not in my original village as you can see. But I am in a village. I, a couple of days ago in my office I received a little book or a letter. Let's have a little look. Dear Scotty, I have watched your videos about vaults and how to protect a village from destruction. We are in great danger here in the village, in the beautiful village of Hogsworth and wanted you to come and set up some defense systems for us. We urgently require you so, require, we urgently require you so come quick. Regards, Mervins. So yeah. So yeah, that uh that uh, email came through and uh he must need me quite badly because uh, I've never received one of those before. So uh, I uh, did receive another little post-it before I left, but I didn't bring it with me to say that uh, he had uh, set up a root building for me to use, and um, he's already done some electrical work for me to just get started. I just need to find it. Hello, you. Yes, you. Yes. Uh, do you know where I can find Mervins? Not talking, hey. I'll go find him. Hey, you, scientist. Have you seen Mervins? Hmm. I haven't seen him. He must be around. There he is. Hello, Mayor. Yes. Where have you set up this thing? Hey, where was that? He's not talking. Oh, well. Okay, let's, uh, right then. Did you just shut the door on me? How rude. There we go. I'll punch you in the face. Right, so, yeah, this looks like the building they set up for me. So, look, what they've done here, it looks like they've, uh, set up some barbed wire around a house. That's very nice, a little thing. And they say they put in some electrical work for me. Ah, yes. Some electrical work in the ceiling. And some of some in the floor. That's nice. And there's a hole out there. Uh, ah, yes. Yes, there's some electrical work out here as well. Okay, guys. Um, so, what this is going to be is... Uh, I've already done a defense tutorial on how to do an EMP device. What this one is about is the anti-ballistic missile. What you need for that are the things I've got in my pack. You would need... Well, you can use any of the launcher pads, so you can either use the tier 1, the tier 2, the tier 3, or the tier 4. No, sorry, the tier 4. Wow, not yet. You can use the tier 1, the tier 2, or tier 3. I'm going to use tier 3 because it's slightly more accurate, and it has better readings and better, better things. But yeah, you need the tier uh, launcher control panel, you need a launcher platform, and you need a launcher support frame. It just helps the stability, stability, and it helps accuracy. You also need an anti-ballistic missile, a radar gun, and a radar station. Let's go through some of the crafting recipes for you. The launcher, the launcher control panel for the tier 3 is a tier 2 launcher control panel, 6 gold, an elite circuit, and some copper wire. Beautiful. The launch control platform, tier 3, is 6 steel plates, an elite circuit, and a launcher platform, tier 2. A, la a launcher um, support frame is a tier 2 launcher support frame, and 6 steel plates. The anti-ballistic missile, even though it is a red tier missile, it requires a control circuit or basic circuit, a condensed explosive, and a missile module. They're quite cheap. Radar gun requires one glass, one basic circuit, three steel ingots, and a button. And a radar station, quite expensive, but requires an empty radar gun, so no energy, two gold ingots, three steel plates, and a, ba con uh, and a con basic circuit or control circuit. Lovely. I'm also going to be using for the purposes of demonstration some high voltage wire and also you can get hold of red power and use some red alloy wire which is quite beautifully done by the red al free at red alloy ingots or you can just use normal redstone so what you need to do is you need to set up a simple radar station which I'm going to do up on the roof here so all this needs is to be plugged into some form of power like that and it'll start going around. Now, as you can see on here, it has a once you right click, it has a little 
um, user interface what pops up. It has two buttons on the side, it has a safe zone, and it has an alarm range. Those two are very important. So the safe zone is what, where it will be triggered if it, or that area will be triggered if a missile is launched into. And alarm range is where it will be triggered if it is going into that area. Make sense? Good. As you can see on here, they've updated it since the last time I did one of these things. Before you could only see missiles and radar stations. Here we have a radar station which is a little temp one set up just over the distance there to test if all the systems work. And in here you can see that they've just popped up me. So it's radar station and Scotty. You can now see players on these which is very very cool and neat. And yeah, once you plugged it all in with the right power, it will be churning and turning around. Absolutely beautiful. Okay then, so for that I'm just going to now, as I said in the last video, uh, radars have a nice little feature where they produce a redstone signal on the on the uh, detection of a uh, missile. So, and they always um, so on the side where they detect the missiles, the one where they'll be um, coming from. For example, if you want to set up a huge system that. Uh, told you on a computer screen using computer craft or whether a missile is coming from the east or the west or the north you could set it up depending on if it was from the east you could have a redstone line coming out or so what and so forth because it so what I'm saying here that kind of went off key but for example if a missile is coming from that direction which it will be this side will light up and so on and so forth if it was coming from this direction this side will light up it's quite simple so yes uh, let me just get this down here. No. Come on. Okay, that's coming down. So yeah, that's coming down. So that's a nice little circuit now. Uh, now let's set up the interior. So we stick the launcher frame at the back. We then stick the launcher platform in front of it and then the launcher control panel on top of the power supply so in there now you see it building up power it requires 800 kilojoules you can set up a frequency that's not needed currently lock height that's not needed destination uh, destination height not needed these indeed are I'll come back to those in just a second but for this all you have to do is link this up to that and that is all set up okay so now next important set step is to make sure that your missile will fire and to destroy the missile which is coming in it has to be this has to be set away so say missile silo is empty so let's put the anti ballistic missile in turn off the rain so now it's saying target too close so even if there is a redstone signal it will not fire all we have to do to stop that once the rain ends is to launch is to put this a distance away. It can, I haven't tested if it's in any direction but just for safe betting put it in the direction where you think the missiles will be coming from mainly. So I've set this over in uh, that direction so quite far away and all you have to do with the gun now is go inside and right click the control panel it says coordinate information transferred and now you say it says ready to launch they have changed Detonation height has not changed at all, so this is very nice. And that is ready to go, that is a nice little system. Now I've got here a way to test the missile, and I'll show you a missile on here because it will launch from here and it will come in across. And it tells you on here what missile it is, so let's just give this a little test a launch. So, here we go, that's missile, so it says it's a shrapnel missile. Should be coming down any second. There we go. Missile's launched. Didn't have to press a thing. Beautiful. And it fire and it detonates it in the air. So, for example, if that was a chemical missile, it would launch the chemical in the air. If that was a shrapnel, so it launched the shrapnels in the air, and so on and so forth. And of course, um, if it was a um, red matter explosive it might be um, it might be a little bit dodgy if it's close to a mountain or something because it detonates it in the air and quite high up but anyway guys that is the simplest way to defend yourself from a missile and it's a nice little simple setup with a single radar a launch system and a cheap missile 
So guys, I have been Scotty from Blue Kogan Family. If this really helped you um, defend your village or your base, please send me pictures via Twitter at Coconut Family. Um, or uh, please um, send me it on my Facebook group, Blue Co V Blue Coconut Family. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing those. I might even show them on the channel. So, yeah. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It really does help us show your friends so you can have a nice vaults war between you. So from me and the new village, thank you and goodbye.